Hey, it's Time Scarf 11, and today I'm going to be ranking the drip of the drivers in Xenoblade 2 and all their alternate outfits. I'm going to have a separate video for blades and then rare blades because if I did them all together, this would take an hour. So, like with the Xenoblade 3 drip tier lists, I'm not actually going to have a tier list up on screen because I don't think there's any exists for the outfits themselves. So, I'm just going to be giving my rankings for them. So, we'll start with Nia. Nia base design, S tier, she's peak cat. The hood, the flowing scarves, the belt of knives, I really like the belt of knives, all peak, she's an S tier design. Candy stripe Nia, honestly not a fan of this one, I like the color scheme but the stripes just look really off, I don't like them, so C tier for this one. Also timestamps for each driver in the description if you want to see my rankings for a specific driver. So Blood Witch Nia. This is S plus tier. This takes the already great Nia design and it just cranks it up so much more. It is so, so awesome looking. Just love Blood Witch Nia. Fancy Sundress Nia. S tier because it is so cute. It's really simple, but it's just so cute. And that Dromark bracelet, that is the perfect thing. Why have they not sold merch of that? They need to sell merch of this bracelet. I also never noticed until today that she actually has a little Dromark icon on the dress. Next up, we have Morag. Morag is perfect. Everything about her design is just amazing. There's not a single miss anywhere on this design. You got the long coat, you've got really nice armor, cool baggy pants, the mini cape thing on the shoulders, I'm not sure what you would call that, the amazing hat, and high collar. Everything about Morag is perfect. Especially her stance. You cannot get better than this stance. Dress Uniform Morag, it's really hard to say if this is better or worse than the base design. It feels like they're kind of equal, because there's good points to both the black and white version of it and her having the hat off. So I just really like both. Another S tier. Scarlet Inquisitor Morag, this is just too much red for her. I don't like this one. B tier, it's not really bad, but it's just a much weaker color scheme than the others. Obligatory leave Morag. This is S tier. It's a really unique, cool swimsuit design. I've never seen anything like this. Even years later, I still have not seen any other swimsuit designs that are really much like this. So bonus points for how unique it is. I also absolutely love the visor that's styled after her hat. They just put so much thought into the Xenoblade 2 swimsuits. There's just so many funny little details. So yeah, S tier for Morag's swimsuit design. Also the hair down. You gotta love the hair down. Next up, Tora. Tora is so cute. Look at that face. Such a weird little hamster. So Tora is an A tier design. There's just one thing I dislike about it, and that's the color for the belt and the pockets. I just feel like it, there's better options they could have used for the color. It just doesn't work as well as it could. The best thing, I think, is if it was the same shade of purple as Poppy's hair, because then they would have been matching, and that would have just looked really, really good. Alternatively, if it was just a black belt, that also would have looked really nice. But I just do not like this weird shade of brownish purple. Other than that, amazing design, though. Buster Mode Tora. It's funny, but I just don't like how his alternate costumes change his fur. If they had just changed the outfit and then given him the funny flaming head thing, then that would have been A tier, because I like the colors of this version of the outfit better than the base one, but with the fur color change it just looks weird, so C tier for this. And I don't even have the panda one because I just did not like the panda one enough. It's also funny, 
but I just don't really like the way it changes his face, so that one's B tier. Best Girl Fantora. This is S tier. This is the funniest design in the entire series. You cannot argue with that. This is the funniest design ever. The only thing that could have been better than this is if they included the V swimsuit Tora design as a costume, because that would have been S S S tier. Or S plus 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 whatever you want to say. Anyway, this is S tier. If they had included V swimsuit Tora, that would have been the greatest design in the entire series. And darn it. I'm just gonna leave that in. The mere suggestion of V swimsuit Tora in the game was too much for my Switch to handle. So next, Zeke. Zeke is an A tier. He's not as amazing as some of the others, but there's really no low points to him either. Honestly, just don't really have a lot to say about Zeke. I really like the ripped flowing coat, but other than that, not really much to say about him. Just generally good design. Embercake Zeke. This one I give a B tier because the colors are a little too bright. I feel like to match the Xenogears artwork better, it should have been more subdued colors. Then he would have looked even more like, I think it was Bart from Xenogears. Hang on, let me check that. Yeah, it was Bart. So it would have looked better if the blue was more purple and the red was just not as bright then it would have matched Bart better. And also the hair, I think, is a little too bright. Maybe they had to do that, but probably not. Like, just using the color scheme, the more exact color scheme probably wouldn't have been an issue, but who knows. Shining Justice Seek. So, this is another issue where I don't like how bright it is, especially compared to his base design, which has more subdued colors. So, I give this an A tier, but just slightly behind his base design. Also, I'm not sure if this was supposed to be a reference to anything. I forget if it was. I don't think it was. But I feel like this was probably meant to be a reference to Adam's beta design. Because Adam's beta design had this same kind of red and white color scheme to it. So I think that's what it was supposed to be. Just... I don't think anyone's really talked about that before. I can't remember anyone talking about it. And something I just thought of while looking at this here, wondering about why it looks that way. Now for Rex. So I don't have Rex's base design to show here, since you can't go back to it. So I'll just talk about that first. His base design, if you say anything bad about it, you're immediately wrong. It's just not incredible like some of the others. Like. I can easily say Rex's base design is the weakest base design out of the five drivers, but it doesn't mean it's bad. It's like B plus tier. The only issues with I, that I have with it are just the colors. It's just too blue. That's really it. All his other alternate versions of it all better because they have more colors to them. So then let's go with Master Driver. Master Driver's S tier. The guy is dressed like the Unicorn Gundam. He is wearing the Unicorn Gundam. I should note the perfect version of the Unicorn... Not the perfect... The uh, full armor version of the Unicorn Gundam. When it turns green. Which is the coolest looking version of the Unicorn Gundam. But yeah, S tier Master Driver, just, it's so good. He looks so mecha. Prototype Suit Rex. This is like tied with his base blue design for me. So like B plus. If the orange on it was more brown, I would have liked it better. Because that's what his actual beta design really looked like it had more of a brown to it than this reddish orange but other than that it's pretty good 
Cloud Sea King Rex. This is easily his best. This is the top of S tier. It's not as good as Nia's S plus Blood Witch design, but this is like the top of S tier, just below Nia's Blood Witch design. The color scheme is perfect. This is the color scheme that his costume really needed. And it just matches with Mithra so well, having the black and green to her white and green. Love everything about this. And lastly, Rex's swimsuit. I don't really care much for this. It's kind of plain. It doesn't have any funny details like the other swimsuits do. With the shark thing, that's kind of funny. But still, it doesn't have like a really funny detail like Nia or Morag do, or Zeke. Wait, did I skipped over Zeke's swimsuit, didn't I? Yeah, so uh, B tier for this, and I gotta get back to Zeke's swimsuit. Okay, Surfinator, Surfinator Zeke. S tier, it's so funny. The, the tie, just why are you wearing a tie? People have suggested that it's to go with the fact that Pandoria's is called Beach Date Pandoria. So he, in Zeke's mind, this made sense, which I love that explanation for. I mean, it's the only explanation that anyone has come up with that actually makes sense, and it just makes perfect sense in Zeke's mind. So yeah, S tier for this one. Okay, thank you for the well-timed animation, Zeke. I'm just going to let this play out. Anyway, that's my drip ranking for all the drivers and their different outfits in Xenoblade 2. In a couple weeks, I'll have the main party blades and all of their outfits, and then I'll do rare blades after that. So if you're watching the end, comment Blossom Dance down below, and see you next time.